Hello again. Welcome to another video on inclusive teaching strategies with me, Dr. Sunanda Roy. In this video, we will be discovering a friendly teaching strategy aptly called the buddy system. The buddy system is a procedure in which usually two people, the buddies, operate together as a single unit so that they are able to monitor and help each other. As per the Merriam-Webster dictionary, the first known use of the phrase buddy system goes as far back as 1942. So it's definitely not a new concept. Webster dictionary goes on to define the buddy system as an arrangement in which two individuals are paired as for mutual safety in a hazardous situation. In education, buddy system pairs students in a classroom and asks them to support each other with specific tasks or skills. The buddy system is basically working together in pairs or even in a group. That means while working in a group too, the buddy pair works like a unit. However, it should be noted that both the individuals have to do the job. The job could be to ensure that the work is finished safely or the skill or the learning task is transferred effectively from one individual to another. So the students learn to share from their peers and learn collaboratively. While using the buddy system, a child gets paired with another child usually one that is older and of higher abilities. This is also done with diverse learners as it helps to promote friendship between the differently abled students and the typically developed students. The buddy system provides better support during classwork as students help out each other to achieve the common goals. The buddies provide the opportunity to satisfy the behavioral and social needs of each other. There is expansion of communicative interaction with peers. This can foster greater sense of belonging and a more inclusive school community. The buddy system helps promoting an inclusive environment for all as it encourages better acceptance of differences. Further, the buddy acts as a role model. For example, a student having attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or ADHD learns better self-control by imitating the behaviors of the buddy who is a typically developed child. This in turn leads to the decrease in the behavioral problems of the student with ADHD. Students actively participate with each other and enjoy the informal setting and feel comfortable discussing with peers rather than a teacher. The opportunity for active participation, clearing doubts and discussions helps students to continue with studies or activities with joy, creating a depth in understanding of the subject matter. Both the buddies benefit because buddy system helps in reducing the stress level of the learner. It reduces the level of anxiety experienced by the students who are struggling. Plus, the buddy involved also learns leadership skills and in turn takes up the role of buddy leader. So, it is a win-win situation. In schools, teachers can use buddy system using different pairing systems. For example, newly admitted school students can be paired with older students. Here the older student can guide and help the newly admitted student to adjust to the new environment. Help given by the older students may range from guiding the new student around the institutional campus to helping out with assignments and even sharing resources. Low achieving elementary school students can be paired with high achieving elementary school students. Low achievers are students who are unable to reach their optimal potential while attaining their goals. 
so they are not able to reach their highest level of achievement. The high achievers here act as a role model and help low achievers improve their study habits. Behaviorally challenged teenagers could be paired with adults. Students having behavioral problems may cause harm to their peers. Such students can be paired with school staff members. The staff member keeps a check if the student misbehaves or turns aggressive. Students with autism spectrum disorder, also known as students with autism, can also be paired with neurotypical or regular children. So, children with autism display difficulty actually in creating and maintaining social relationships. When paired with regular children, they get an opportunity to observe the expected social behavior. Thus, the regular children become role models for the children to learn socially acceptable behavior. Students with severe disabilities can be paired with neurotypical or regular children. Severely disabled children could be physically challenged, visually challenged, hearing impaired or mentally challenged. These students find it difficult to adjust to the school environment. The regular children help the differently abled children in various ways to make adjustment much easier. College students could be paired with post-bachelor or master's students. This is going to be very helpful for the college students because there is a lot of adjustment when these students make a transition from school to college. The post-bachelor students can provide a lot of support to the newly admitted college students in a variety of ways to make this transition comfortable. The students who are selected as buddies need to be made aware of various things in order to make the buddy system successful. These are to be done by the teachers. The buddy is made aware of the particular challenge the differently abled student has. These challenges could be physical, mental, emotional or even social in nature. Due to this challenge, the differently abled student faces hurdles in adjusting to the school. The teacher needs to provide clear directions regarding what support the buddy is providing. The teacher also needs to supervise and monitor the support given by the buddy. Buddies are asked to take special care to include the child facing challenges in all types of activities. Differently able students are often neglected or shunned away by their peers as they are different. These students face problems in socialization. The buddy helps these differently able students to be accepted by their peers. Since the buddy is accepted by the peers, he or she can use their influence to include the differently able student in their peer group. The buddy is asked to be on the lookout for any bullying or exclusion. Differently able students often become targets for bullies. This is because the differently able students may be physically weak and the bullies tend to isolate such students and bully them. Buddies can help the differently able students and protect them from such situations. For example, handling bullies in the school bus or even on the playground. Teachers encourage the buddies to be able to provide support to the student if they get stressed out or get upset at break time or even during the class. The differently able students are pretty susceptible to getting stressed for not being able to learn effectively or complete their task successfully. This could be due to their disabilities. So they require a lot of emotional support so that they don't get this kind of stress. This support can be provided by the buddies. The student who is selected as a buddy, 
would be chosen for their maturity and kindness. Teachers should take parental consent from the students involved in the buddy system. While not every student with special needs will instantly begin to socialize or make friends, this approach will at least um, ensure that inclusion takes place and also that there will be a friendly pair of eyes when the teachers are not present. Teachers can rotate buddies throughout the year so that the child gets the opportunity to make friendships. This will help both the regular and the differently able students to include each other in their social interaction which will increase their socialization. Teachers should also make the buddy relationship reciprocal. Differently able students are often underestimated. The main aim of buddy system is not to make these students dependent. Teachers need to carefully be able to do it in such a way that the differently able students do not become helpless. They could have other abilities which the buddy may not have. It's not necessary that the differently able students will always be learning from the buddy. In many situations, the buddy can learn from the differently able students. Thus, the relationship should be a mutual one and both buddies should support one another even if it is in different areas. One more thing that teachers need to ensure is to reinforce all participants for being good buddies. Teachers need to appreciate and encourage students for being supportive. The buddies should be given social recognition or other classroom rewards. This will boost their confidence and inspire other students to become buddies. Together, buddies can work on their lessons in general education classes related to curricular activities, participate in extracurricular or co-curricular activities with one another, or even eat during lunch time or during recess breaks. So it is not only during academics for studying that buddies work together. Having a supportive buddy not only helps in overcoming hurdles faced in the school, but it also helps in developing a positive attitude towards life for all types of learners. These are the selected references used while creating the video. For further reading, you will find the links to these websites in the description box. There are other inclusive instructional strategies like remedial teaching, team teaching, blended learning, and more on which I have made videos. Do watch those videos too. You will find the links of these videos in the description box and also on the screen. I hope you liked this video. If so, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching the video.